Welcome back, my lovelies. Today we are taking it back to the olden days with this glamorous Marilyn Monroe-esque inspired short hairstyle. I love it, I hope you love it too. Let's get started. So for this hairstyle, you will obviously need a couple of items. And the first one, obviously, of course, is a curling iron or a curling wand. For today, I'm using the Hot Tools. This is a 3 fourths inch in gold edition, I believe. And I will have a heated up about like 360, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not gonna go any higher than that. And then for that, obviously you will need some heat protection because we're putting heat on our hair and then some hairspray if you wanna have extra hold for your curls. And then to hold the curls in place before we set them and cool them, we're actually gonna use either hair clips, like these little silver metal ones, or you can use bobby pins instead. So if your hair is layered like mine, or if it's straight, I do recommend you working in sections to achieve the full potential of this hairstyle. So I'm just taking my first section, like right behind my ears. I'm gonna apply some of this heat protectant by Bumble. This is the BB Styling Lotion. Just apply it, give it a quick spritz to the first layer or section. So I'm grabbing the first section. You can start anywhere you'd like. I'm just grabbing one on my right side and then take the curling iron or your wand. I like the curling iron for my lowest section because it's kind of hard to do it this way. So I'm just gonna grab it, put the hair in, and I'm gonna bring it underneath like so. Hold it like seven to 10 seconds, depending how thick or thin your hair is and how hot the iron is. Yes, thank you, babe. <laughs> and when you let it go, don't let it go all the way. Just gently start to press, hold the curl at the same time. Make sure you don't let it go. Take your pin or bobby pin and then secure it right to your head. Oh crap, don't do that. Oof, that's why I like to put this thing down. Ooh, what is that? Do you guys see this? Is that from the curling iron? I'm so confused what that just came from. Now that I've cleaned myself up, <laughs> let's move on to the next section. I still don't know where that black stuff came from. So I wanna show you guys a little trick. So instead of just clamping it down the middle and then like dragging it on my hair, I clamp it out just a little bit, but not all the way. And then I sort of clamp it when I go down, bring it back up, unclamp it, just so it's not gonna give you that like weird edge on, your, on the ends of your hair from the curling iron. And then just roll it all the way up. That way it kind of gives you those flawless curls without any crazy ridges from the curling, curling iron. Let me show you this one more time. And towards the top, I'm getting a little bit smaller sections, like two inches or so, even less. So I'm bringing the section closer to the side where the, where the clip lifts, bring it down. And I'm gonna start wrapping it towards the top, going underneath, just like that. So the reason why you wanna do that is because if you don't and you just put it on top of one another in just one little area of the barrel, it's gonna give it more of like a wave instead of like a, that beautiful S vintage curve that I'm trying to go for. So for these like vintage curls, I always like to have a nice deep part. So I'm gonna take one of my combs and just create that deep part first. So for my top sections, I always start from the back and make my way forward and do exactly the same thing. Just grab smaller sections, twist them all the way up the barrel, and then just hold them horizontally. I was gonna say, how many of you, or ask you, how many of you have battle scars from like curling your hair? <laughs> I have one pretty bad one like right here. You can actually see the little circular thing. Oh, I see. I am putting it in the hole when I twist. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> you guys, I figured it out. I'm putting my finger in the hole when I twist. Moral of the story, folks, don't put your finger in the hole. Or when else you're, it'll get dirty. Or else it'll get dirty. <laughs> Literally, got dirty, that's disgusting. All right, let's do this. Last section. Last section, I'm so excited. Like this is when I watch like YouTube videos when I do this kind of hairstyles. You know what channel I've been obsessed with lately? Her name is Milla Boo. She's pretty awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Shameless plug-in. <laughs> no, but seriously, when I do these kind of hairstyles, when I know it's gonna take a while to do, or like curling-wise like this, I'll do, I'll watch like YouTube videos. Just a love video, I love YouTube. 
Before I do anything else, I'm gonna let the curls set for a good 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna add a little, like a very light layer of hairspray. This is the Big Sexy, Big Sexy Voluminizing Hairspray. Just a very, very light layer. Just all the way around. Just like that. Just give it a quick spritz and this kind of adds a little bit of hold, extra hold to my curls. All right, so go watch your videos on YouTube or if you have an event to get ready to, go do your makeup in the meantime to let your curls set, cool off. I'm gonna go wash my hands and fingers because that's disgusting. <laughs> From the curling iron and got my hands dirty. Let's start taking these curls out. So I'm gonna start from the very lower sections and making my way up just the way we curled it. Oh yeah, look at this. Mm. Almost dropped this. Good thing I turned it off. Nice and cold. So now that all the curls are out, you can get like these really pretty like ringlet curls that are like super bouncy and soft. And this is why you wanted to wait to set them completely, let them cool off and just kind of let them do its thing. Take any paddle brush and gently brush out your curls. So this is where these kind of clips come in handy and kind of helps you create that beautiful S curve. So once you've brushed your hair out, I'm gonna take the clips and I'm just gonna run a little comb. So you see how it's like creating that S? I'm gonna place it right here, kinda like put it together. And then we're gonna put one right here. Just like that. So for this side where it has the majority of the hair, for like this deep side, I'm gonna make sure these front hairs kind of go up, just like that. Take the clip and just clip this hair back as far as possible. And then we're gonna manipulate these S curls. If you need to kind of go back and give it more of like an S shape. Like that. And also make sure all the clips and pins are all in line so you're not gonna have like mismatched S waves. Take some more of your hairspray and just give it a quick mist and let this little concoction sit for at least five to like 10, 15 minutes depending on how much hair you have. Now let's gently take it out. So this front piece right here, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna actually tease it a little bit right underneath. Pick it up. And then to add a little bit more volume, I'm just gonna run the bottoms just up a little bit with my teasing comb. And this kind of gives like that full bob look if you just tease it up a little bit. And there we have it. I'm kind of feeling Marilyn Monroe-esque. I just need a beautiful white dress and some wind from underneath. <laughs> but I love this hair. I think it's really cute. It's very glamorous. It's definitely not for everyday wear because it, is, it does take a little bit extra time, but it, it's so worth the effort, you guys. It's so pretty and it does last for a very long time just because you set the curls, you put hairspray in it, and I don't know. To me, they last for a very long time. I love this hairstyle. Another way I love to wear this type of hairstyle is to wear one side behind the ear, kind of making it nice and smooth right here, just to give it more of a modernized look and kind of open up my face. I'll just take some bobby pins and just pin maybe like one or two. I'm gonna still make sure there's some wave there. And with just one little pin, it like transforms the entire look. This is actually my preferred method to wear just because it opens up my face just a little bit more and I like that it kind of enhances my features a little bit. But what do you guys think? How would you wear it? Would you actually maybe wear your hair up like this to one side behind your ear or actually just leave your hair like framing your face? Which one's your favorite? All glamorous parties must come to an end and this one is definitely gonna go off take off her makeup and go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.